I want to take a moment to address all my fellow truth seekers out there with uh, what is my darkest fear and the object of my worst nightmares. Uh, well, first I need to uh, tell you all something about myself. I happen to be what you would call a hypersensitive or a psychic. And as such, I have had a unique view and perspective on what's going on in the world. And something that has left me deeply and extremely troubled is this NASA Project Blue Beam. It's everything, if, if it's everything I've heard it is, it, it fits my own visions of the future to a T. This scares the fuck out of me. Uh, if I'm correct, then this project is what is going to become the NWO's crowning masterpiece. The ultimate false flag. And what will be the greatest hoax in the entire history of mankind. A completely and totally fabricated full-scale alien invasion. <sighs> Why would they do this? To completely and totally terrify the masses into giving up all their freaking rights. <sighs> you know, gain full acceptance of the world government and Luciferianism. That said, I should probably start at the beginning. A little known fact about the Nazi war machine is this project known as, this project they were working on known as Zero Point. This all had to do with anti-gravity and uh, levitation and basically the way it works is it's just using the Earth's own electromagnetic field to zip this way and zip that way, you know float right up and just off into the fucking sky. Uh, anyways, they did not have the industrial means to produce this and make this feasible. Now, there was this shadowy group known as the uh, Knights of Malta who uh, happened to have smuggled lots of the Nazi scientists out of the country and into the states. Uh which, bloated from all its recent conquest, did have the industrial means to make it feasible. Anyways, the first UFO sightings began in earnest during the 1950s, right after World War II, beginning with a sighting by a credible pilot, and as the elites had complete control of the media at this time, they flooded all publications with this story, and, well, a new mythology was created. The Zionist portion of the elite apparatus of control, which is, and was, in complete control of Hollywood at this point in time, flooded the silver screen with all these movies about aliens and alien invasions and just created the little green man. Uh, just basically perpetrating this fledgling mythology uh, into the mass consciousness. The now infamous War of the Worlds radio broadcast was nothing more than a dry run for this very plan. And by the hysteria it created, I would say they considered it a success. Enter Roswell, a completely and totally staged stunt for the papers, for the media, for you. Benefit of the press, that, that's all it was for. And the aim was creating the conspiracy and the myth that the US government, our government, had at its disposal alien technology in an effort to create the smokescreen 
for the very real conspiracy that was taking place. The international banking cartels bid to run the whole fucking planet. So they created a companion conspiracy that could make anyone who talked of conspiracies look like a fucking tinfoil hat movement. Uh, the phenomenon of alien abductions is a bit trickier and thornier of an issue, but I believe it can be explained away simply as our own government conducting clandestine experiments upon its own populace Keeping this outside public knowledge, what they were doing, um, they utilized drugs and hypnosis to basically cover their tracks and make any of their victims look like a complete and total mental case. And, you know, it basically further perpetuated the mythology of men from outer space. Which brings me now to Project Bluebeam. I once read in a science fiction novel that it would be possible to project commercials, commercials, advertising onto our very skies. Anyone familiar with science fiction is well aware that it is also followed up, it is often followed up by science fact. And one of the things attributed to this project, Blue Beam, is being able to project things onto the sky. Do not doubt me. They have this capability. And I, I do not think for a second they're going to be using this for advertising. You're not going to see the Geico Gecko or freaking Geico Cavemen up in the sky. Uh, that said, here's what I believe is going to happen with this. And it's probably going to come down the pipe in the next decade or so. After they get this whole fucking clusterfuck of World War III going, they're going to project what will appear to be the War of the Worlds upon our skies. Thousands of spaceships battling while very real craft, all piloted by soulless human men, zip about shooting up anything and everything in sight. In an effort to completely terrify and just freak out the world's entire populace. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Don't listen to these freaking elitist chicken littles. They, your world is not ending. Your world hasn't been ending. They're fucking it up. <clears throat> well, it, that said, they're, when this comes down the pipe, they're, they're going to ask for all your rights, and they're going to say that it's going to make you safer and... Just don't buy it. Don't buy it. And, you know, if I'm wrong about this and the elites really are just doing the bidding of their Anunnaki masters, well, then this big show is just going to be the cover up for the actual invasion. Just like NORAD's terror exercises on the morning of September the 11th. Is this real world or exercise? Uh, that's what they asked them when they called in and let them know that there was planes off course. Is this real world or exercise? So, that said, uh, if the elites are merely puppets of some evil alien empire, their masters aren't here yet. We can beat them. And you know, I think if it is freaking aliens, we can beat those fuckers too. Now, the only reason they're able to control you is because of fear. If you just simply shed your fear, if we become willing to tackle our own problems, rather than being content to let some other fucker take care of them for us, well then... Uh, because simply, you know, the only solution they have for us is genocide. So, that said, stay safe, stay sane, take care of yourself.